Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So towards the end of last month, back in November, I let you know that if you are using Microsoft Edge, that Edge had received new tab page widgets, very similar to what we see over on Windows 10 and Windows 11 on the lock screen. And then a couple of days after that, I let you know that Edge's new tab page widgets didn't seem to be a thing just yet because Microsoft had suddenly removed it from the browser. And just to let you know that in my region today, I have noticed if we head up to our page settings for the new tab page, that show widgets is back. And there we go. There's the weather widget. And at this stage in, in my part of the world, there don't seem to be any other widgets in the stable version, just the weather. And if we head over to Edge Canary, which is an early preview version, and we do the same, yeah, you can see we've got the full house, which previously wasn't available. So this in Edge Canary is a good indication that Microsoft now is going to be testing the other widgets and then rolling these out to the stable version because on the same day I received the weather widget for the new tab page in stable and then all of the widgets in Edge Canary, which obviously does indicate now that this is something that Microsoft is going to be rolling out. Now, as you can see, we get full house in Edge Canary. So that would be weather, markets, sports, and travel. And the good news with this is, is that you are able to click on the three-dotted menu. You can hide the widget. You can turn off all widgets. You can manage widgets and so on, which gives us a couple of options. So um, you have a couple of options, unlike um, Windows 11 and Windows 10, where if you choose weather, you get the full house. So at least Microsoft uh, in the Edge browser is giving us options to kind of configure these and turn the ones off that you are not using or are not interested in. And something else I've noticed is if we just head back to stable, if we turn off show content, it turns off everything when it comes to widgets and the feed at the bottom, if you have that enabled. And if we pop those all on again, if you toggle off feed, obviously it just takes the feed away and just has the widget. So you've got a couple of options. So um, just fiddle around with that. Um, let me know if you are seeing this, by the way. I'd like to know if you are seeing the new widgets um, in the stable version in your region. I want to know how, if this is impacting um, Edge users globally or not. And I think now the fact that we are getting all the widgets um, available in Edge Canary, as mentioned, I think this is a good indication now that Microsoft has made up their minds and is going to start pushing out these widgets as we can see to the stable version starting with the weather widget but let me know down in the comments what you think of this and do you think this is a good idea and as I've mentioned on the on the channel it almost seems like Microsoft Edge is becoming its own operating system because there are so many um, Windows 10 and Windows 11 features that have been bundled into the actual browser that and one would think you wouldn't even need Windows to some extent or the other if you are using Edge. Um, obviously, if you have an internet connection, because it has a lot of the so-called features that are already in the OS that are now bundled in the actual browser. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.